Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about right to health. I am Dr. Suresh Badadmat, Professor of Psychiatry, working at National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Bangalore. In this video, we will try to understand the concept of right to health. And also, we will try to differentiate between right to health versus right to health care versus right to access for health care. Let's understand these difference. Further, we will try to understand the concept of right to health from national and international legal framework. Let's define health. In 1948, World Health Organization clearly defined health as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. And it is not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. This is a comprehensive definition given in 1948. And this has stood the scrutiny and also accepted by many countries across the world. Now let's understand what is this healthcare means. The definition of healthcare means it is the prevention, treatment and management of illness and the preservation of mental and physical well-being through the services offered by the medical, nursing and allied health, health professions. That means here, this is a narrow definition. The definition is specifically the profession offering the services. It is an industrial definition. The industry is healthcare and many policymakers and politicians are happy with the definition of healthcare. That means health being a very comprehensive, whereas healthcare being a commodity which is provided by the professions. The profession is a healthcare profession. So my dear friends, this is a very narrow definition and American Heritage of Dictionary of Medicine has given this definition. Although we need to know the difference between health and healthcare. There is a one more concept we need to understand the difference between health and healthcare. Health as I mentioned is a very comprehensive, had many variables and social determinants such as health is directly dependent on what type of food you are having. Is it a safe or is it a natural food? Is it a vegetarian, non-vegetarian? Availability of food, quality and quantity of food, further safe water. Health is also dependent on shelter. Pollution free environment is highly essential to enjoy the highest achievable health, violence free environment, war free zone. Not only that, if there is various man made disaster, invariably mental health and physical health will be at stake. Access to health care. That means access to health care is a part of health. It's not the complete health. Transportation, transportation of medicines, ambulances, availability of human resources to provide health care. Not only that, food, safe water, all those are dependent on transportation. Not only that, education of the citizen so that they can lead a healthy lifestyle, availability of job and also safe work environment is also essential for good health and finally space for recreation. Space for recreation means having a park, having a good ground, gym and various other recreational space will keep you healthy. However, healthcare is a just a subset subset of a commodity which is delivered by healthcare professionals. So my dear friend, health is a comprehensive subject. Right to access for healthcare, what does it mean? That means everyone should have access to the health services they need, when and where they need, without suffering financial hardship. That is access to healthcare. That means state has an obligation to make access to healthcare near to your house or it may be in the workplace that is providing primary healthcare. It may be free or else you have to pay or else it can be subsidized. But however, right to access is 
providing the access to healthcare that's it that means health is a larger one healthcare is a subset access to healthcare is just a road towards the healthcare so you need to understand from this perspective my dear friends now after understanding what is health healthcare versus access to healthcare let's understand what is right to health mean right to health means whether is it a commodity which is given by the government or by the state or maybe by the private individuals is it that let's understand that right to health is an inclusive comprehensive right usually the policy makers and politicians associate right to health with access to health care that means i will just provide access to it you pay if you don't pay you will not get the access so this is a very very narrow definition my dear friend right to health with access to health care and the building to those hospitals and this is partially correct but right to health extends further my dear friends it includes wide range of factors that can help us to lead a healthy life which i discussed just now right to health means it comes with bouquet of various rights such as right to access for health care including mental health care my dear friends what does it mean it means emergency health care ambulance services opd treatment inpatient treatment rehabilitation services on priority basis for the marginalized population like disabled children pregnant women senior citizens orphans poor gender minority so these are the people who need to get the health care on priority basis supporting families of persons with disability high support needs are the people who need to be given high priority for health community based services preventive and promotive services so my dear friend right to access for health care will be considered as very very limited but however right to health is very comprehensive which also includes right to safe drinking water right to shelter and adequate sanitation right to adequate nutritious food right against violence and abuse no war no communal rights terrorism that should be prevented right to healthy working and environmental conditions right to pollution free environment that means government should stop exploiting the nature deforestation we need to fight against that these are all very essential to have right to health right to recreational spaces that means government should make adequate place for maybe recreation maybe sports games so that the children and the adult can come and do recreational activities here right to receive community based health services without any discrimination and biases so these are very essential components of right to health right to health also includes right to be informed consent to be taken confidentiality regarding my health care right to information and medical records right to reproductive rights right to access to essential medicines right to health related education and information right to participate with regard to health related decision many countries even do add right to education as a part of right to health so what are the core components of this right to health that is it should be available accessible acceptable by the community that means culturally appropriate adequate in quality and quantity so health should be people centered equitable evidence based timely and progressive realization using maximum available resources not only that alternative treatment also should be available it not only allopathy if the patient or the population or the state citizens want to access alternative medicines such as ayurveda yunani homeopathy siddha should also be made available it is the people who are going to utilize it that is right to health my dear friends right to health does not exist in isolation if it exists in isolation it is a commodity it is influenced by complex environmental educational social cultural human behavioral and economic factors they are all 
interrelated, my dear friends. That means you need to know about the social determinants of health. Health is directly dependent on food, water we drink, shelter, access to health care, availability of health care, housing, mental health, transportation, education, job and income, and also war free environment and pollution free environment is very essential for health. So, we need to have this paradigm shift in thinking. Right to health means the health should be regarded as an objective of economic development and investment, not just an expenditure. Unfortunately, the policymakers, politicians think health is a expenditure. No, health is an investment. Investment of future investment on children. That you need to understand. Right to health thus is a holistic, multi-sectoral concept calling for efforts from the agricultural, in, agricultural domain, industrial domain, education, housing, economic sphere, financial, communication, just as much as medicine and public health, my dear friend. That means we are talking about a complex phenomena. It is not just access to healthcare or just providing health care by a profession. If right to health is defined narrowly, that is access to health care only, that means you are providing treatment for a disease or an illness or a disorder or an injury or a disabled person and you are not focusing on the comprehensive definition of health. That means you are not working on prevention, promotion, you are not working on the getting a safe environment, safe drinking water or a food. That means the very purpose of right to health is defeated, my dear friend. Hence, we need to focus on a comprehensive manner, not only access to health care, providing health care, food, environment, everything comes into my dear friend. So, if a policymaker or a politician talks about access to health care means he is limiting your rights, that you need to understand. It's very rudimentary and narrowly focused point my dear friends. Now let's understand the legal framework from international laws. That means what does international law talk about right to health? The right to health means it is the highest attainable standard of health. Referred as right to health was the first time depicted in 1946 when the World Health Organization was formed. And since then it has been included in various international treaties conventions and covenants. The most authoritative interpretation of right to health is outlined in the Article 12 of the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Right, which is in simple word it is called as ICESCR. My dear friend, let's understand what is Article 12 of International Covenant on Economic and Social Cultural Rights. Article 12 clearly says that Recognizing the right of everyone to the enjoyment of highest attainable standard of physical and mental health. So, it just does, does not talk just a physical health. But unfortunately, the social well-being is missing here. But however, World Health Organization has added that definition making it comprehensive. Not only that, this covenant also talks about state parties will endure to achieve the fullest realization of the right which includes the reduction of stillbirth, infant mortality and for the healthy development of the child. Further, Article 12 also says that improvement of all aspects of environmental and industrial hygiene, further prevention, treatment and control of epidemic, endemic, occupational and other diseases. Now, even the pandemic is included. The creation of condition which would assure to all medical services, medical attention in the event of sickness. Article 7 also talks about safe and healthy working condition. Article 10, 3 says children could not be, should not be allowed to work in a harmful for their morale or health or a dangerous condition which will hamper their health and normal development. If somebody does, they should be punished under the law. 
This is my dear friend International Covenant on Economic and Social Cultural Rights. Similarly, other in international instruments such as Convention on Rights of the Children talks about how the children should get right to health, access to health care and health care. Even Universal Declaration of Human Rights, UDHR Article 25 talks about it. Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, that is CEDO, also talks about how health care should be provided to women because she is abused and all forms of discrimination is done in a male-dominated society. Not only that, Convention on Rights of Persons with Disability revolves around health of a person with disability. All these conventions directly or indirectly upholds right to health, my dear friend. Now let's move into the legal framework from the national perspective. That is, what does Constitution of India talks about? Unfortunately, right to health was not a fundamental right when the Constitution of India was drafted. You need to remember this. The Constitution of India was written during 1948-50. That as soon as we got our independence, during that time, right to health was still evolving. Hence, it was drafted and kept under the directive principles of state policy. So, under the Article 38, 39, 42, 43 and 47, since it is kept under direct principle of state policy, the state does not have any obligation to provide this. However, their policy should be geared up to keep that in mind. Hence, it cannot be justiciable under the court of law. Only thing it is, effective realization of right to health under the available economic condition. That is how it was read under the Constitution of India. Please remember, this direct principles of state policy shall not be enforceable by any court in India at this point of time. But however, over a period of time, it has been read to the various article. They are the fundamental principle in the governance of state at this point of time. That was how the constitution was drafted. Let's understand how right to health has evolved over a period of time. Here, the directive principle of state policy, Article 38 says that state to secure a social order for the promotion of welfare of the people, it is interpreted including the health. Article 38E talks about health and strength of the workers, men and women, and the tender age of children are not abused and that citizens are not forced to by economic necessity to enter a vocation unsuited for their age or strength. So indirectly, even the state policies had to follow this. Article 41 deals with the right to work, education and public assistance in certain cases and thus impose duty on state for public assistance basically for who are old, sick and disabled. Again, still it is in direct principles of state policy. Article 42 the state shall make provision for securing just and human conditions for working and for maternity relief. Article 47 talks about it is the duty of the state to raise the level of nutrition, standard of living and to improve public health. This is Article 47 which is very important although it is not enforceable but any person in the state who is making any policy you need to keep this in mind. Article 48A ensures the state shall endeavor to protect and impose the pollution-free environment for good health. Unfortunately, the so-called citizens, we are exploiting the environment, forest in the name of development. We need to work towards Article 48, ye my dear friends. But now let's understand how the power of health whether it is under the state or the center. Unfortunately, health is a state subject under the constitution of India. Here, the state has the power to make 
law, rules and regulation with regard to health. Entry number 6. Under the state subject, the Constitution of India says, public health and sanitation, hospitals and dispensaries comes under the state subject, my dear friends. However, indirectly health related matter comes, comes under concurrent list. What are those entry? Entry number 6. Lunacy and mental deficiency, including place of reception or treatment of lunatics and mental deficient. Indirectly, it is mental health care, my dear friends. Entry number 26. Legal, medical and other profession. So, both of these come under concurrent list. That means center can also make law and also state can make a law under the federal structure of constitution of India. Unfortunately, health remains under the state, my dear friends. Now, right to health, how it has evolved over a period of time. In India, judicial activism played a crucial role. Otherwise, our politician never took right to health as an important component and also an important freedom or a fundamental right which need to be given to our citizen. Let's look into the judicial activism. Under the fundamental right, Article 21, right to life and liberty, what does it say? It says, right to health is inherent to your life with the dignity. Now let's understand what is Article 21 has been drafted. It ensures protection of life and personal liberty of the individual, where no person shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty except according to procedural, procedural law established by the state. What does it mean? Although it looks very negative, that means no person will be deprived. Unfortunately, it has looked, not looked in the positive sense. That means right to life means the state will provide health, provide food, provide water was not written. It was written in a very negative sense telling that no person will be deprived of life. That means state will only protect the life. So that is how it was written in the constitution. But however, let me put it very clear. Judicial activism, the best judges in our country has interpreted right to life. Let's look into the Apex Court decision. The Honorable Supreme Court of India interpreted Article 21 that is right to life and liberty, that is expression of life does not connote me mere animal existence or continued registry through the life, but includes inter alia the opportunities to eliminate sickness and physical disability. This was a decision given by the Supreme Court in 1981 in Francis versus Union Territory of Delhi, my dear friend. And in the same judgment, it also said, Right to life guaranteed under Article 21 of the Constitution is a true meaning includes the basic right to food, clothing and shelter. As such a landmark decision given by the Supreme Court. That means right to life. Now, further extends right to health also. In another important decision by, by the Supreme Court of India in Permanent Kathara versus Union of India which was decided on 1989. This is a case which every healthcare professional should know. In this case, a person was knocked down by a car and this person was taken to various hospitals. Unfortunately, majority of the doctors refused to treat him telling that it is a medical legal issue. And before he was taken to another hospital, the person died. In this case, the Supreme Court decided an important and a landmark judgment was given. In this case, the Honorable Supreme Court said that the doctor has taken the oath, Hippocratic oath, in that they have clearly said that we will, we will take care of the life. And hence, the Supreme Court, which was an ethical obligation for a medical profession, has been interpreted in a legal decision. That means ethical obligation has become a legal obligation. What does that legal obligation? The Supreme Court of India has said that every doctor 
whether at a government hospital or otherwise, that means includes private hospital, has a professional obligation to extend his services with the due expertise for protecting life, whether the patient be an innocent or be a criminal liable to be punished under the law. Such a landmark judgment. That means many of us, such as doctor, who entered into the profession telling that we will protect the life. Unfortunately, so-called healthcare industry which has become commercialized not only by the doctors, by the society, by the greedy people and also so-called corporate have come into existence and it has become a commodity. Hence, the Supreme Court has to come and say, doctors, you have promised, you have taken an oath, which was an ethical oath. Now, it has become a legal obligation, that is, right to health in emergency situation. In another important decision, that is, Paschim Banglaket Mazdur Samiti versus State of West Bengal, a decision was taken in 1996. This is, again, a Honorable Supreme Court of India has taken this decision. Again, this is another celebrity case. An agricultural worker met with an accident. He was taken to the government hospital. Invariably, he is a small farmer. Hence, he could not go to the private hospital. He went to a public hospital, that is a government hospital, and there were no beds available. Hence, he moved into another hospital. He could not find bed in a government hospital. Almost four to five hospitals visited. Unfortunately, he need to go. He need to go for treatment in a private hospital. And there was a huge bill given to him in 1996. Hence, he approached the Supreme Court telling that it is the duty of the state government to provide health and health comes under the state subject. Hence, the Apex Court honoured his appeal. What does it say in this decision? In this landmark celebrity decision by the Supreme Court, it said that under Article 21, right to life, the ambit has widened. It says, in a welfare state, it is the primary duty of the state government is to secure the welfare of the people and moreover, it is the obligation to provide adequate, adequate medical facilities for its people. If not, they need not, if they need not provide such health care, they need to provide compensation for not providing the treatment. Such a beautiful decision. And the Supreme Court said the state government has to pay the bill of this poor farmer. That means, my dear friend, right to health. The obligation is directly on the state. It does not walk away from its responsibility. Not only that, in the High Court of Orissa, an interesting case landed up. This was a decision taken in 1997. It was the demand by the Panchayat of Pachikoti Grama demanding for primary health care in his village. So Panchayat Gram demanded for a health care or a, just a primary health care. The state did not provide. Hence, they appealed to the High Court. The High Court of Orissa gave a landmark judgment. In a country like ours, it may not be possible to have a sophisticated hospital, but definitely villagers of this country with their limitation can aspire to have a primary health care. The government is required to assist people and its endeavour should be to see to that the people get treatment and lead a healthy life. Healthy society is a collective gain and no government should make any effort to smother it. So, High Court came heavily on the state government, my dear friends. So, indirectly, it has said that right to health means right to primary health care also comes into the ambit, my dear friends. So, this is, all this decision comes under the Article 21, right to life and liberty. So, there was another important PIL or else you may call it as a red petition by an advocate during 2020 August when the COVID healthcare was given. 
as you know this covid pandemic exposed our healthcare system of our country here sachin jain an advocate approached the supreme court of india on 31st august 2020 and he requested the supreme court asking to come with a judgment so that the state government should bear the cost of covid health care so that the people do not suffer and he also requested the government should regulate the private hospital cost and need to combat the commercialization of a private health care that was his request of course during covid it was a chaos we had very little health infrastructure at that time and private or a commercial hospitals started exploiting it in this case my dear friend apex court knew that it is a federal structure the state government is responsible for health it is not the central government hence it made all the states party for the health and also the central government and it gave an order to draft a public health act and if the states which have already has the public act please fine tune it so that you can regulate the private health industry not only that a poor person also gets health and they requested all the policy maker to model their legislation on national health bill 2009 unfortunately this had never seen the limelight till date today my dear friends because our state governments across india do not want to give right to health for everyone so what is the need of the hour for every citizens in this country right to health means we have all have a right to have safe drinking water right to food nutritious food pollution free environment we need to get shelter space for recreation right to access for health care right to access for essential medicine it is a bouquet of rights my dear friends that requires strong political will if the politicians are not motivated it is the duty of our citizen should make them realize the right to health is a fundamental right of every citizen every policy maker law maker should allocate resources and they need to make a sustained efforts so that progressive realization of right to health occurs there should be adequate infrastructure both organizational physical infrastructure institution research human resources roads communication power and environment should be conducive for right to health hence we need to invest in time resources education discussion involving the citizen in right to health my dear friend it should not be just a commodity which is sold in the hospital we need to educate public make aware of their health healthy lifestyle so that people spend time in exercising not eating junk food at the same time government should regulate these packaged food and also commercialization of the healthcare food care industry clean environment that is pollution free environment should be planned we should stop exploiting our nature we need to urge the politician to invest in health education and justice there should be considerable amount of budget should be allocated to health unfortunately every country is investing in defense in military not in education and health of our citizen hence a state's financial situation may not be good that does not absolve from their duty to provide right to health right to education and justice although i believe progressive realization should be there however maximum resources should be done into right to health and education redistribution of our resources 
for health not only that we need to redistribute the urban location of this health should also move towards the rural area so we need to have a public health approach community based treatment treatment should be available at the nearest place of the where the person resides not in a high rise building my dear friends hence right to health is a basic human right and it is a fundamental right my dear friend this is what world health organization is advocating and many states are progressively realizing this hence one need to understand right to health means it is an investment it is not an expenditure and every state should prioritize right to health poor political will should be removed from their power every state should now invest in health shifting the obligation of health to a private is completely unwanted unfortunate if the state government is making this obligation to a private health provider it is the duty of the state government to provide health patient should not be forced to migrate from one state to another state this is the reality my dear friend many states do not want to invest in health hence the citizen of those states are moving from one part of the country to another part of the country to get health care that means there is a serious problem in our federal structure from the perspective of health and this is very dangerous to this point of time my dear friends we need all of the states to invest in health hence the 15th finance commission chairman nk singh urged we need to move health into a concurrent list otherwise if we leave it to the state the citizens will be deprived of the health and they need to travel and beg for health in another state if you look at the southern southern state of the india the health indicators are good hence many citizens from the eastern part of india northern part of india are migrating for health care that means internal medical tourism is occurring is it good that is the question we need to ask we need to make those states responsible for investing in health and i completely agree with our honorable chairman nk singh he had made an important observation we need to move health from the state subject to concurrent list then only we will be able to make state and central responsible for providing right to health my dear friend to conclude right to health does not mean just providing access to health care or just providing health care it is a comprehensive inclusive rights having many variables it is a investment for future every state should work towards right to health not just a narrow concept of access to right to health care my dear friends right to health i would like to reemphasize telling that it is providing food safe drinking water shelter and sanitation providing job uplift upliftment of poverty education health awareness pollution free environment access to health care avoiding gender discrimination and violence all these are part of right to health so right to health envisions that all people have good health for a fulfilling life in a peaceful prosperous and a sustainable world thank you very much for giving your valuable time stay safe